Hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to talk about five variable k map now let's look at an example let's say we have a function given that is f a b c d e and that's equal to sum of mean terms 0 1 24, 26, 29, 30. So this is the location of mean terms. Now let's go ahead and draw the k-map for this one. But there's actually, there's no five variable k-map. So what we have to do is, we have to draw four variable k-map two times. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Let's go ahead and draw that one. First, k, this is our first k-map with four, four variable k-map. Okay, so we are going to have 4 by 4 table. And uh, we have to draw another one. Okay. Here we have the second one and this one also 4 by 4. Now let's look at the locations. Here we are going to have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, the highest number so we avoid a and two other numbers like b c we take b c d e b c d e for this one also b c d e then for the first table what we do is we take a is equal to zero and for the second table we take a is equal to one so this is how we do the five variable k map now let's look at the locations we are going to have for the first one as we did um, in my if you look at the previous videos like for every k map when we have four variable k map we decide the location based on these numbers if you look at this one zero 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 that's zero and then zero 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 one you have to read like b c d in that order zero 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 one that's going to be one and if you follow these numbers you will get this pattern zero one two three and then four five six seven and here we will have 8, 9, 10, 11. And then here we will have 10, 11. This is going to be 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. For this one, we are going to have the rest of the numbers. 16, 17, 18, 19. And then here we are going to have 20, 21, 22, 23. And then 24, 25. 26 27 and then 28 29 30 31 now let's look at the locations we have one we have the sum of min terms it means the locations of one now let's go ahead and place the ones at zero we have one at one we have one at two we have one at four we have one at six at five we have one at 6 we have a 1, at 10 we have a 1, at 13 we have a 1, at 14 we have a 1, at 18 we have a 1, 18 is right here, 21 we have a 1, 22 we have a 1, 24 we have a 1, 26 we have a 1, 29 we have a 1, 30 we have a 1, okay. So when we consider this 5 variable came out, we divide this one into 2, for variable k map we have to think it like one is on top of the other so what we can do is when we have some similar patterns for example if you look at the bottom one i can combine these two together this one and this one since these two are adjacent right so when we have the pattern like these two are matching this is actually eight numbers we know that when we have combinations in uh, variable k maps 16 is better than 8, 8 is better than 4, 4 is better than 
2 2 is better than 1 so we have to always look at the highest number possible we can combine together here you can see we can combine 8 because since these two are adjacent we have to think these two tables are on top of each other so we can combine 8 together like this okay for this one if you look at this one for the first table a is 0 for the second table a is 1 so a is changing so when we write the expression we have to look at the things that's not changing right so since a is changing we 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 should not write that one now let's look at the bc bc is changing because 0 you can see 0 0 1 1 and 0 1 1 0 so b and c are changing but de is not changing so the first expression for this one is going to be what we are going to have d it's already one and e is zero so we have to put e complement now let's look at the another thing whether we where we can combine eight there's no other possibility of getting eight right we don't have any possible situation like this so the next thing is we have to look at the possibility of getting four now if you look at this one here this one can be combined as four right so this one can be form combined as four if you combine these four together the expression is going to be we don't have the same pattern in the other side if you have the same pattern in the other side we can combine that one with this one too we have to have four one like this but we don't have that one so we cannot combine in the other side so this is the one we have and for this one b is not changing c is changing so b is not changing and this zero so b complement and d is not changing e is changing so d complement let's look at the next possibility of getting 4 so when you have something like this if you look at this one here this one and this one are same pattern right same pattern and uh, you have to think this t these two tables are on top of each other so these two are adjacent so this is 4 so we can write the expression for this one but a is changing for the first table a is 0 for the second table a is 1 so a is changing so a is eliminated and uh, b is 0 1 changing c is not changing c is 1 1 so c will be here and then d e are not changing so d complement e okay so this is the one we are going to have for this one now we have included everything except this one but if you look at this one this one can be connected with that bottom one like this right let's write the expression for this one for this one d e d is changing e is not changing so we are going to have e complement but before we do that let's do the b and e b and c and also a is not changing because this is only happening in this table right and also i forgot to include this for this one also this is only occurring in this table this four variable so we had to put a also so let's look at the expression we wrote for this one for this one b is not changing so we put a b complement and d is not changing we put a d complement so we also had to put a complement here because a is zero for this table and this is only occurring in this table so a since a is zero in this table we had to put a, a complement and for this one a is one so we had to put a and then b and c are not changing b and c are not changing so b c is 0 so we have to put c complement and then if you look at d d is changing but e is not changing so this is going to be e complement okay so this is going to be the final result for this one now let's look at another example let's get rid of this part okay so let's say we have some other min terms Okay, let's write them in terms em and that's given i mean sigma m sigma m is given 0 4 6 8 12 13 14 15 16 and then 17 18 21 24 25 26 and here we have 28 29 and then 31 so this is the one we have right now now let's go ahead and create the k map so 4 by 4 k map two twice since we don't have five variable k map we have to create 4 by 4 k map twice as we did before
okay this is 4 by 4k map we are going to have four boxes like this also like this and another one okay Okay, now we have created the table let's put the variables we always take the highest highest order out like highest position that's going to be a so a is going to be zero right here and for this one a is going to be one and b c d e will remain here b c d e b c d e will remain here and the location is going to be same as before zero 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 one 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 zero 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 for the first one it's going to be what zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, and for this one, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Now let's look at the location where we have 1. At location 0, we have a 1. At location 4, we have 1. At location 6, we have 1. Location 8, we have 1. 12, we have 1. 13, we have 1. 14, we have 1. 15, we have 1. 16 is here, 1. 17 is here. 18 is here. 21 is here. 24 is here. 25 is here. 26 is here 28 is here and 29 31 okay so this is the one we have right now now let's see whether we can combine 8 8 before in order to get 8 we have to have the same pattern of 4 in both sides right but we don't have that one and uh, also we have to remember again like these two are on top of each other these two tables are on top of each other so when we have similar pattern we can combine them so we always have to have 2 4 8 16 now 8 is not possible because we don't have any similar pattern in both sides so let's look at the 4 now let's look at the possibility of getting 4 for this one we can get 4 like this okay let's do this one like this like this and here we have this one right so let's write the expression for this one here you can see b c is 0 0 1 0 so b is changing c is not changing so this is going to be what c complement and then d e d is 0 0 1 0 so d is changing e is not changing so this is going to be e complement so that's for this one let's look at the another combination for here we have this one right here this one we can combine it like this and if you combine what's this one this gonna be we are going to have b and c are going to changing because 0 0 1 0 1 1 b is changing c is going to change like 0 1 1 0 so b and c are changing d e is not changing so we had put d is 0 so d complement and e e is already one right now let's look at the possibility of combinis, combining the others let's see whether we can get another four this one can be combined like this or you can combine it like this right or you can combine this one like this too like this way if you combine it like this what we are going to have 
we are going to have this 0 I mean B is changing 0 1 C is not changing so C and then if you look at D 0 0 1 0 E is not changing so this is going to be E complement let's look at another possibility here we have this one this one okay this one can be combined we can combine this like let's see here we have this two one right here and in the other side we have the same location we have two ones so when we have similar pattern in both side we can combine these two but I made a mistake in previous things previous things if you look at the first one first one we have we derive an expression this one C is not changing right C is not changing so we put a C complement and E also not changing E complement but A also not changing because if we have something happening in on one like only in one table we had to include A or A2 so I, I should have include the A in the first one first one A is 1 so we had to put A for the second one for this one let's see here we had C is not changing so we put a C and then E is not changing so we would put an E complement but A is since this is happening only in the one table we had to put A complement because A is 0 so we had to put A complement in order to get 1 right now let's look at this DE part DE part we got it from here this one this one is occurring only in one table so we had to include A so this is going to be A right now this one we are taking right here the uh, this I'm talking about this one this one is occurring in two tables since we have these two in the same same I mean in the same boxes in both table we can combine them together because these two are in adjacent so if we combine this what's the expression we are going to have let's see what we are going to have so this is for this one what's changing a is changing definitely because this is occurring in two tables here a is 0 here a is 1 so a is changing so we don't have to include that one b is not changing 1 1 so we have to include b c is changing d e are not changing so we had put d complement e complement and here we have this one right here let's see what we can do with this one here the only possibility is getting to but there's another thing you can notice the pattern here too if you look at this one here the same pattern we have this one here also in this table right so we can combine these two together because these two are adjacent so for this one since this is occurring in two tables a is changing a is zero here for this one a is one so a is changing but let's look at bc bc is not changing bc is one one so we are we can write bc and D is changing, C is going from 0 to 1, so D is changing, E is not changing, so this is going to be B, C, E. And after we done all this, we have only one left, right? So we can combine 4 for this one, like here we have direct 4 right here. So we can combine a 4 like this. If we combine all 4, B, C are changing and this since this is occurring only in one table we have to include A so this is going to be what A is 0 so we have to put, com we have to put A complement and B, C are changing D is not changing so we have to put D complement E complement and this is going to be the final expression for this one right the given one but there's another way to do this one we can do the K map all together too now let's see how we can do that let's go ahead and draw that diagram here we always use two diagram but because that's easy to see but if you combine in one you can also combine this one in one diagram like this let's go ahead and draw this one so let's say we have a 4 by 4 k map like this okay now we are going to combine okay like this
okay so this is going to be let's look at the ones we have for the top part we are going to put the ones on the first table so for for this one we are going to have one 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 right here and then for this in the vertical also we have one on top one and also here we have another one after this for the second table we have to put all of them in the bottom let's write with a different color so here we have one here we have one here we have one and for this one we have one 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 and then here we have another one and for this one this one this one this one okay now if you look at this one this is another way to do it. the location is what is going to be same as this one zero zero Okay, let's write the locations here this is let's use a different color okay so this location is 0 and then this is 8 9 10 11 and then this is 12 13 14 15 and the bottom part is the number of this one let's write with a different color okay let's say let's use this one or oh, this white or oh, let's use the same color okay the bottom part is going to be what this is going to be 16 and then 17 and this is 18 19 and here we are going to have 20 21 22 23 then 24 25 26 27 and this is going to be 28 29 30 31 okay so you can see this is we put everything together let's look at the combination like we have these we have combined these two like para, with these two edges and this 13 15 and 29 31 if we draw it together you can see it here this combination is going to be like this this is that one we have one in both so here we have one one and this is also one one right so we combine like this so we can directly combine but this one is much better to easy to see right when we have two table it's easy to see when you have this one it's going to confuse you a little bit and this bottom part is was this one this is belong to the second table so when we have second table we combined it like this and also if you look at the top one we had one 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 both side so that is this one here we have one one on top one one in the bottom so this is another way to do this but this one is easy to see and easy to do also and that's how we do the five variable k map i hope this helps thanks for watching